Hey friends, I'm Cynthia Cano from thegracefulhomemaker.com and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a thrift store homeschool haul. I have books, I have board games, I have school materials, school supplies, and I'm excited to show you guys. So, if you're interested in this video, go grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and let's enjoy. Okay, so I wanna start off this video with showing you guys the books that I have bought. Now, these books are geared more for my toddler than my kindergartner or my preschooler, but they all, they all use it. They all love reading these books. Um, so I'm gonna start off actually with these. So I found three of these books um, with, I don't know what they're called, but they're the books that have the little noise, um, just press the button depending on what page you are on. And I found these because my toddler loves anything with noise, what toddler doesn't. And they're, they're in great condition. I mean, these, these books pretty much are brand new. And I found them for, I think, the hard covered ones at Goodwill are like $2.69, I believe. Um, so yeah, the pictures are amazing. Like I said, my toddler loves them and so does my kindergartner and my um, preschooler. That one, I also got the Noisy Train one. Again, thrift store find, $2.69 for the hardcover book. And this one is just about farm animals, but makes noise. And then this one, I saw it and I had to grab it. I almost skipped over this one because it's not technically like, what can they really learn from PJ Masks except to fight crime at nighttime. Um, but my toddler, my one-year-old, almost two-year-old, he'll be two in March. Right now, he's into all things PJ Masks. His pull-ups are PJ Masks. All he watches is PJ Masks. His toys are PJ Masks. So he's into PJ Masks. And when I saw this, I couldn't let this go. I just couldn't. PJ Masks, put the PJ Masks. There we go. But yeah. They love this book, especially my one-year-old. And then I got a treasure hunt book for, it says for boys, but I mean, really you can, the girls can use it too. But um, I do have to help my girls with this because they are not readers yet, but it has like one treasure map, two big pirate ships. So that's what I love about it, um, that it goes by numbers. So really not only are they looking for things, but they're actually counting and it's helping them learn to count. They know how to count, but it's good practice. Um, they have jungle things. They have dinosaurs, wizard things, space, and so on. Seaside, and then there's more. But um, yeah, they absolutely love these type of books. So I got them. I have another one that I also got at the thrift store about a year ago, um, and it's Noah's Ark, and they have to find all the animals in Noah's Ark. Okay. Another PJ Masks book, because PJ Masks, right? Um, this one has a clock, and that's part of the reason why I grabbed it, is because pretty soon, my oldest, she will be sick. She's gonna start learning how to tell time. So I figured we have a book that they will actually enjoy reading, but there's a clock on it, so mm, multi-use. Um, again, thrift store, I believe this one was I would have to say about the same price, $2.69, because the, normally the way they price their books, specifically at Goodwill, is like paper books are 69 cents, I think, if they have no chapters in them. And then hardcover books are like a dollar something or $2.69 um, if they have no chapters in them. I believe that's how it works. <clears throat> but yeah. When I saw this book, I had to get it. I didn't even think twice, but Esperanza rising i'm gonna be using this for one of our read alouds um we're reading another one i got actually at barnes and noble as soon as we finish that one i want to get right into this one um this was one of my favorite books growing up as a teenager it was one of my favorite chapter books so i'm excited to read it to my girls riches to rags esperanza believed her life would be wonderful forever she would always live on her family's ranch in mexico she would always have fancy dresses and a beautiful home filled with servants. Papa and Abuelita would always be with her. 
but a sudden tragedy shatters her world and forces Esperanza and Mama to flee to California, where they settle in a camp for Mexican farm workers. Esperanza isn't ready for the hard labor, financial struggles brought on by the Great Depression and lack of acceptance she now faces. When Mama gets sick and a strike for better working conditions threaten to uproot their new life, Esperanza must find a way to rise above her difficult circumstances because Mama's life and her own depend on it. So, sorry if you guys hear me sniffing a lot. We were just sick with the C word pretty much the first two and a half weeks of January and so I'm still recovering and I have a lot of this going on. <clears throat> but anyways, this is gonna be a great read. I'm excited to get into it with my kids. So now that we're done with the books, I'm gonna show you guys two board games that I got. The first one is Adora Memory Game. We spent about an hour playing this with the kids. One day we turned off the TV, just put some worship music on, and we just played a matching game. Even my youngest, who is one, almost two, he was playing with us. So the cards come like this. We'll start with this one. This is what the card looks like. And then on the flip side, they have little images, little Dora images that go with, um, with the show. So they love this. It's a very simple game, but they absolutely loved it. And we did too. Me and my husband were getting very competitive, <laughs> but it was really fun. The kids really enjoyed playing it. Um, I was telling my husband that I think that not only did they enjoy the game, but they actually enjoyed the time with the TV off and us being completely present with them for a good hour, no distractions, no phones, no social media, nothing. So I think we're gonna keep doing this and I think I'm gonna keep going to get more board games. So the next board game that we got <clears throat> is Arthur says Picture Path Bingo. We just got this one and we played it, well my mom played it with the kids. I have not played it with them yet, but it's actually really fun. So this one, these are the bingo cards. They're pretty big and I believe all the bingo cards has all the images. Um, these are the, what do you call them? Chips, there we go. These are the chips that go over your picture. So it goes like that. And then the cards look like this. Arthur, Arthur's Picture Path Bingo. And then they have like snowman. They have alarm clocks, different things. So this is another really good one that I'm excited, me personally, to play with the kids because I have not played with them yet. Okay. Now I'm going to move into school supplies that I have found. Let me just grab them here. Okay. So the school supplies that I found were box of crayons. I got it for 99 cents at the dollar store. These are now 125. So I saved a little bit of change on this. Um, and the box is full still. So yeah, full brand new crayons. Look. Brand new crayons still, can you see? Brand new crayons. I also got some sidewalk chalk, again, for 99 cents. I can probably find these at the dollar store, again, for 125. I haven't seen these at the dollar store, um, but I'm sure it's the same brand, so obviously, um, dollar store. But 99 cents for sidewalk chalk. And I also got a pack of pencils. They are Christmas pencils, but who cares? Pencils are pencils, they're gonna be used regardless. Again, for 99 cents. So it's never, you can never have enough school supplies. So when I see these kind of things, I grab it and just put it into our homeschool closet because you never know when you need them. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys were these math cards. Now I just opened it up and I realized that I've been recording for the last 10 minutes without the camera actually on. So. I'm actually going to make a separate video about these. Um, and if I can find this on Amazon or something, I'll go ahead and link it. But um, I was able to look through this and it actually has more than just math cards. So yeah, I'm actually excited about starting these with my girls. Okay, next thing that 
I found were binders. I have three binders that I got for 99 cents each. Actually, I have four, and I'm gonna show you guys the fourth one. Um, but yeah, they're simple. These are, I believe, one inch binders. Um, and I can use these for our unit studies. Um, instead of just buying the actual curriculum, we just use these binders. And again, like I said, I got them for 99 cents each, which at the dollar store, they'll be $1.25 now. Um, and at Walmart or Target or Myers, wherever you get school supplies from, it'll obviously be more expensive. So now I'm gonna show you guys workbooks that I have got. This is not, this will not be our main curriculum. These are, will be more for like supplemental work um, and work to do like on the weekends and things. But I got them because it's really good practice. School doesn't have to end when our curriculum ends. Um, so I'm gonna start with this one. ABC, um, this is pre-K, so this would be for, for my three-year-old, almost four-year-old, and it's brand new. This is what the pages look like. Um, there's just two pages that they, I guess they use the first two pages, but it's in pen so I can just erase and keep on using again for supplemental work. Um, I've got this one for kindergarten. I'm also gonna be using this one for my three-year-old. I'm just gonna say four because she'll be four in a couple months. So for my four-year-old. Um, this one I got as well. I know this one is at Dollar Tree, but I got this one as well from Goodwill. Okay, here's another pre-K one, uh, ready for phonics. So it says ages three and up. This is a little bit of what we have inside of it. And then constants and vowels uh, sound fun. So con I said constant. Consonant and vowel sound fun. Some things I got for my kindergarten or almost fourth grader. We have grades one and two addition and subtraction practice. Um, and I really like this because I've been looking a lot for first grade. I think we're gonna go and use um, the good and the beautiful uh, level one math. I have been using master books and I absolutely love the gentle approach of master books, but I feel like it's a little too gentle. And we literally have like three lessons left in the entire book and it's just now gonna be February. Um, and that's meant to go for an entire school year. She loves math. Math is actually her favorite subject. I don't know why, but hey, I'm gonna lean into that because math was never my favorite subject. I actually struggled a lot with math in school. So for my daughter to absolutely love math, that's amazing. So yeah, I'll just use this for supplemental work or even for testing her. I'm not a big tester. I don't, I don't wanna test my kids, but just to see where they're at sometimes, like maybe once or twice a year, I can test them from this. But other than that, this is just for supplemental work. Um, then we also have uh, grades one and two begin beginning reading. So um, my daughter's really good with her sight words. This is what it looks like inside. She's really good with sight words. She knows a lot of sight words. Um, she can sound out words, but um, she's still not fluent in reading. So I want to keep giving her that practice. She does not like phonics at all. We are doing... Um, it's Foundations of Phonics with Master Books. And again, a great curriculum. She just does not like phonics. Um, but I've noticed that she does kind of know how to read because sometimes she'll see something on the TV. Like she, okay, story time. She struggles with one of her sight words and it's the word the, T-H-E, the. Well, I thought she struggled with it because every time I pull out the card, she can never tell me what the word is. One day, She's reading out of a book, I think. I don't know. She's like, look, mommy, the word is that. And I'm like, child, I thought you didn't know the word. She knew the word. But that's a kid for you. Okay, and the last one is grades K through 1 reading readiness. Um, it says 327, but this is not the, the Goodwill tag on it. <clears throat> So again, some of the pages have already been used, but it's in pencil. I can just go ahead and erase that. Um, but it's in really great condition. Um, and I'll be, again, using this for my uh, five-year-old, my almost six-year-old, which she will be in um, first grade coming this fall. 
Okay, and the last one I got is grades one and two. It's Giant Beginning Reading. So another work workbook on reading, um, setting those strong foundations. I personally have focused on buying like reading materials, like supplemental work for reading, because like I said, she does not like phonics. So sometimes the curriculum could be a bit boring for her. So if I can find anything that helps her um, learn and have fun and not get bored, then I'm gonna go that route. Um, so yeah, that is all for this thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stay a few more minutes. I'm gonna be showing you guys a video of the math car. All right guys, so here's a clip I wanted to show you guys really quickly. Um, I went ahead and I separated all the cards. So we have addition, fractions, multiplication, time and money. Um, we also have division and subtraction. So I already showed you guys what the addition cards look like subtraction looks exactly the same it did not come with a tab and that's okay i can just group them together but it did come with a subtraction table and a card that says no to parents basically on how you can use that and what you can do fraction cards look like this and then in the back we have a little pie graph that shows you how to use them multiplication I'm gonna go through this fast because my battery is dying. We have another note to parents, and then the cards look exactly like the addition and the subtraction cards. This here is the vision. This is the vision. We have note to parents, and then we have um, long division here, which is pretty cool. Okay, then we have time and money. We have the, di the digital clock and then the regular clock. I don't know what that's called, but yeah. So we have those and we have money, 74 cents, and then it shows how much. And then we have ones with um, a smaller amount. Then we have um, the equal sign, tells you what it is on the back. We have the greater than sign, less than sign, minus, not equal and addition the plus sign um and then we have this just extra stuff um these extra cards that i showed you guys i don't think they go there was some broken in here and that's okay for 4.99 it's thrift um but yeah we have some shapes we have some first words we have you it says u.s states but yeah, we have like three letters. We also have some animal cards and then sight words. So I figured they must have had a box of this that was not math. And maybe they just mixed up some of the things, just put everything together quickly. But if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit the, be hit the bell notification so that you can be notified when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching.